about compatibility and setting pro. Recently, while working, one of my fellow colleagues asked me a question that how to suppress zeros in Microsoft Power BI. Basically, user doesn't want to display the reserves when there is a zero, or maybe there is a blank values. But that was not it. There was a next step where user also would like to see the values based on certain conditions. For example, if you have three columns, and then you would like to only see the result if one of the column has non-zero values or non-blank values. Then how did I solve it? I'm going to let you know in this video. So please stay tuned with me till the end of this video and you will get to know everything about it. All right, enough of the talking. Let's get started. some of the dummy data in that i'm gonna use this one table matrix is just a field parameter so don't worry about this one but this is basically a sales table where i have some of the dummy data over here let me just show you here so this is my table where i have the dummy data what we have to do over here that suppose my user he would like to see only non-blank values or non-zero values when either quantity price or total sales they are all three are either zero or non-blank what my user requirement is very simple they would like to see the data only when this one of the value is non-blank that means if all three values are either zero or blank then it should not display that is what we call the zero suppress over here i have just replicated the same table and you can see that i have also created three very simple measures that you can see some which is the total sales over here, I have also created the three measures with the help of some DAX function, which you can see it's very simple, sum and the sales price, then same for the order quantity or the quantity and total sales. That's what I have created. Now, how you can achieve it? Well, the very first way is that if you just need to apply the one condition over here, you can simply come here and you can say that you only want to display the non-blank values or if it's a non-zero value. So you can also say it's not zero. And then you can apply the filter but it won't work when you have to apply it for the multiple columns in this case it is very imperative that you ask the users which all the columns they would like to use over here for example i'm using these three columns over here and based on that i would like to apply so what you can do you can simply create a dex that dex is gonna check all of these three columns in the end logical condition when either of the value is either zero or it's going to be the blank one for that i have created this zero suppress one and here you can see that i'm using if condition if my sum of sales price is either a blank value or zero same for the rest of two and all are in the end condition then it's going to return me zero otherwise one and what's going to happen then next next you have to bring it in your visual filter i'm going to remove it and rather than that i'm going to use zero suppress you can also delete it and we can bring it again so use this as a visual filter not the page level not the report level filter so bring it over here and we need it as a one because we are going to apply is not condition so over here i'm going to say is one and that's what is going to remove my all the rows which are completely either blank null or zero so apply it and you can see that each row has at least one value which is non-zero or non-null value that's how you can do the zero suppress in microsoft power bi there's another case let's suppose now let's suppose now your user would like to add more columns in it then definitely they cannot edit the measure then how can they do it this is a challenge for you so please do let me know your comments in the comment section that how users can do that dynamically if you have already the idea or your dex code please do let me know i can give you a hint that can be done using field parameters what is field parameters if you don't know about that then please do check the video in the comment section i have provided a link and also do comment or let us know whether we should create a video on that too i hope now you learned how you can suppress zeros in microsoft power bi if you have any question and concern please do let me know in the comment section also, if you are looking for any Power BI Microsoft training programs, join us. Not only that, if you need any consulting services, you can contact us. Till then, keep learning and I'm going to see you in the next video.